Hi guys, it's Connie here from Say It With Simplicity, and it's the middle of January, and Valentine's Day is only about a month away. And so I thought what I wanted to do today is work on some Valentines in Silhouette Studio and go through some skills that I use to create these. So we'll be doing a little bit of um, welding, we'll be doing a little bit of point editing, we'll kind of quickly draw the heart in Silhouette Studio. If you haven't been to the Draw a Heart video, um, that's my most popular video, and goes a little bit more in depth than I'm going to be able to do for this video. I'm going to be using this um, little pencil SVG, and some of the skills that we're going to be going through are going to be releasing a compound path, um, changing colors on things. We'll do a little welding and we'll get it set up for print and cut. So if you're a rock star at Silhouette Studio already, um, some of these things might be things that you've already um, been able to do. But um, if you're sort of a beginner or there's things that you want to learn yet, I'm sure that this video is just right for you. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create that heart. And if you remember from the video, if you watched it already, we simply draw an ellipse. And I'm going to go through this rather quickly just because that other video is there and I don't want to spend a lot of time explaining it all here. And we could point edit this more. But let's just call it done um, so that we can go on with the rest of the things that we want to learn. So go ahead and watch that other video. Let's change this to red. But yeah, that's how fast you can make a heart in Silhouette Studio once you learn that skill. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this aside for a second and I'm going to bring over my little pencil. And this is an SVG that I created. You'll be able to find that on my blog, sayitwithsimplicity.com. And um, you can see that he's kind of like a black outline. Let's change the lines to black. Let's give him you no know, fill color. And you can see that he's created out of um, a number of different shapes, he or she, whatever you prefer here. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to release the compound path. Now it doesn't look like it did very much, but around each of the individual shapes, um, you might not be able to see it on the video too much, but they're going to have their own little bounding box and now you can work with them individually. And so I'm going to remove the face. I mean, it's a cute element. If you wanted to leave it, that's okay too. Um, but for this, I'm just going to delete them. And let's start picking some colors. I'm just going to go up here to this color picker panel. Let's grab both of these. If I hold down the shift key, I can do that. And um, let's go choose a sort of gold color. Let's get this middle one. Change it to you know, like a gray, maybe. And then one by one, I'm going to hold down my shift key and get each of these um, middle pieces and turn them to a sort of a gold. Does that look like a pencil color? I think so. Let's grab our eraser 
do sort of a pink eraser and let's go for black and now we have our pencil all colored in now I'm going to go to this and I'm going to group everything now some people get confused about what is group and what is a compound path um, and I can do a video on just that at some point in time but a group takes all these shapes and they're um, still um, just what it says in a group if I go here and I convert or make compound path um, I'm back to where I started from so I don't want the compound path option I want to um, have them grouped um, and I could ungroup them and if you see here those are all individual shapes and so let's go back to group so um, that's kind of just a real short explanation of that but we'll talk about that another time too so let's go here and I'm going to enlarge this a little bit it's taking up my whole sheet of paper here but I want you to be able to see it um, I'm going to draw a rounded rectangle and I want it to be about as wide as my heart here or a little wider and for now let's go back to no color for that so now you can see that I have let's convert this guy to path because that way it'll get rid of those little adjustment dots there and um, you can see that we have two um, different shapes here now I don't necessarily have to weld these together let's center them but let's click on this and we're going to go control C control F and now you can see that maybe that this got a little bit darker and I'm going to grab um, this with and then hold down my shift key and grab the bottom and I'm going to click on weld and now I welded those back two shapes but you can see I still have a heart um, control C control F would be copy and paste in front so now I can go back here and I can make this red now if I was going to do a layered sort of thing um, that would be what I'd want but I want to be able to make this white and let's send that to back okay now I have my pencil made I have my heart made I have my base made and um, let's just position this and you can see it wants to slide between the layers let's right click bring to front and now it will be on top and we can resize it And I want that sticking up just a little bit. Now, this little line squiggle here um, is really simply um, just taking that freehand drawing tool, smooth freehand. Um, And I really didn't get too much curve there. 
So I'll get rid of the one that I goofed up on. And let's grab, <clears throat> excuse me, let's grab this one. Let's change it to a gray color. Um, that's Phil. Sorry, I want the line gray color. Okay, now this is really a cut line, but we can bump up this line. Um, you can see right now it's zero points on the stroke, and we're just going to um, highlight that box. And now I'm going to use my page up button on my laptop here. Um, Let's make that about an eight. And now I can drag that into my design. I guess I had that a little bit smaller up there. Okay, now this is still just a line, but that point value here is at 8. So that just makes it a little bit darker for when we go for our print and cut. If I took down to 0, you wouldn't see anything at all. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and type our text. Um, let's just go off to the side here and go and I'm just going to leave that um, with the regular Arial font um, color it white make the line style empty and now I can drag that over my heart let's convert that to path And we'll just place it there where we want it. And of course, we can play around with this all day, so I'll try not to do that. And let's just type Valentine. And for young children, um, you may not want a script font, but um, and there's some fun ones out there, or you could do something like this. Um, bold, messy marker, um, whatever you want to do. And we're going to fill in that. And line it up. And now um, for the little hearts, if you go here to your heart and you hold down your Alt E, um, first you have your hand, and then if you hold down your Alt key, you see like a little plus sign and an arrow. That means you can just kind of clone this. And now you can drag those down to resize them. Um, let's clone it a couple more times. Remember, you're going to hold down your Alt key while you're dragging that to the side. And then I can just reposition some of these. And again, it's your preference where you put them here. We're just doing this for demonstration purposes. And that doesn't look too bad. 
And so now if we go ahead and we group all these things, these elements, um, we can move them around here and resize them as a group. So maybe you only want to make your valentine, you know, like three and a half inches or something. And of course you could, you know, replicate these on your um, mat. And now I have an eight and a half by 11 piece. And I want to set up my registration marks for print and cut. We're going to turn them on. Cameo and adjust the length to get more um, of these on here. And now you could, you know, replicate several of these on a page. For printing cut. Now, if I go to the send panel, you can see here that it looks like everything wants to cut out. So let's select all of these and only cut the edge. And now you can see how that cut line changed to just the outline of our Valentine. And so you really um, can work through this panel. Here's no cut. Um, nothing will cut out. Here again is the, it would cut everything and you'd have a really huge mess. And here's just the cut edge. Okay, so now you can see that I've printed these out. Um, I'm going to go in here and you can see the registration marks are printed. And I have this on my mat, um, ready to send to my Cameo. Okay guys, so here's the completed Valentines. And I'm just going to move in here a little bit so you can see these. And I think they turned out really cute. Okay, so here I am back in my screen and I have my Valentines up here. Um, I wanted to add a note that I did end up making them smaller and I like them a little bit better. Um, I probably could have gotten more on here then, but that's okay. Um, I had a little bit of trouble with my registration marks at first. It didn't want to read and I'm not sure if I had something just a little bit um, out of line there or whatever, but um, instead of doing the manual registration, I just went in ahead and um, increased the length of my registration lines so that I could get the job done. And like I said in the video clip, I think they turned out pretty cute. So we just have, you know, skill upon skill here, you know, being able to use the things that you've learned to create something that's uniquely your own. And you could go ahead and you could do something similar with, um, you know, printing cuts from the um, Silhouette Store and just use some of the things that you know to be able to create something um, special for your family. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I hope that you will give it a thumbs up. And as always, if you have any questions about anything, I hope that you will drop them in the comments section down below. If you like the little pencil SVG and you wanted to try to use that, um, you can go to my blog, sayitwithsimplicity.com, and go to the page for the free SVG files, and you'll be able to find it there. Remember, though, that SVG files will work only in um, the designer edition and above. So be sure to grab that file um, if you have your designer edition and above and would like to give this a try. And I hope that you'll go ahead and um, use some of these skills to create some Valentines of your own. I hope you'll um, hit your subscribe button to join our YouTube family here. The numbers are growing and I appreciate all your support. And be sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified when new content comes out on my channel. 
Thanks for stopping by today and we'll see you next time. Bye now.